Now, when we looked at verbal phrases used as a noun, we noticed that we had to use that cake platter structure to stick things on. When you're using a verbal phrase as an adjective or an adverb, it actually becomes a lot more simple. In fact, if you look at these structures, you can see they are shaped like prepositional phrases. And what that means is you can stick them onto the body of the sentence in the same way as you would stick a prepositional phrase. So what you're doing is simply connecting it to whatever it modifies. So if I have the sentence, he had no time to think about the matter. So we'll start with our basic framework here. which we have the subject he, we have the verb had, we have the object time, and we have the word no, which is an adjective modifying time, it's saying how much, and then we have our verbal to think about the matter, which also is describing time. So it comes down here. And we have to think. And then finally, we finish it up with a prepositional phrase about the matter. Or another example of a verbal phrase, one that acts as an adverb. So we have, uh, she was found lying in the street. So we start with our structure again. We have she, keep doing that. We have our subject, she. We have our verb, was found. And then we have, we could either say it was how or where, uh, lying in the street. So lying is our verbal. It's an ing verb with no helping verbs. So it goes in this way, L-Y-I-N-G, turns the corner. And then we have uh, the prepositional phrase in the street. So as you see, putting these things in, when they act as adjectives and adverbs, uh, they act just like prepositional phrases. Um, so you don't have all that complicated stuff with a cake platter. So that makes it simpler.